Hello everybody again. Um, you've probably not seen me for a long time because I haven't done one of these videos. We've been really busy in the shop. Uh, so what I'm going to do today, actually we've got a lot of stuff that's come in over the last month. Um, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to go through everything in detail, but we're really, this, the idea is just to show you what we've got in stock in the last couple of months, what's interesting, uh, and something new's just turned up today which, um, well, We'll, we'll talk about that when we get to it. Uh, so basically we've got today, we've got the HW100BP, the bullpup, which has taken a long time to um, finally arrive. Um, and here it is. Uh, obviously based on the HW100, I'm sure everybody knows this by now, so I'm not really going to dwell on this too much because this has been out uh, a couple of, well, probably about a month or so, and it's been in the magazines forever. Uh, but the, the BP is now in stock. Um, it's obviously based on the HW100 action. There's a couple of little odd things, well not odd things, but different things about it. Um, they've put the, uh, the sort of biathlon style cocky lever on it as standard now, which I think is a nice little upgrade. We've got the Picatinny rail on it now, so if you do are thinking about one of these, make sure that you've got the Picatinny mounts available for it. You've got, obviously, the Virac silencer. Basically, uh, almost like a standard action. Um, they've put the, the soft touch rubber grip on it and this feels more like, that feels more like a HW44 pistol grip on it. Um, one thing I'm not really over keen on, I don't like the Picatinny rail on the bottom because when you take it off it does actually mark the stock so you might, if you do buy one of these you might want to think about leaving it on. Um, it's taken a long time to come but this is Virac for you. Virac um, really do take the time and they look at everything else on the market and they're very considered company. Um, but the great thing is, is that when they do come out, uh, you can almost guarantee that the thing's going to be reliable. It's going to last for years. You know, usual build quality. Um, I would say that probably the only thing that, that irks me a little bit about this rifle is the price. They're, they're getting on for about £1,100. Uh, obviously, that will change depending on what when you're watching this video. But at the moment, they're around about £1,100, which I think is probably a little bit on the expensive side. But saying that, if you've you know, if you look at like some of the competition at the moment, you know, you look at the Daystate Pulsar that's like seventeen, nineteen hundred pounds. Um, you know that you could say it's relatively cheap, or it's still a lot of money. Um, but if you look at the standard HW100, um, which has gone up now to about nine hundred, you're paying two hundred pounds extra for this. You might, you might absolutely love ball pups. They're not for everybody. They are a bit marmite, um, but if you're looking for a quality, reliable ball put with a great name on it then I'd definitely come in and have a look at the BP. Anyway that's the BP for you. Uh, next we've got, um, well actually a little thing that we've we've not had for a little while and we've got back in, it's one of my favourite little products and it's only £9.95. Uh, we've noticed a lot of people are going down to clubs, they're, 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 they're resting on benches. Well we've got the little BSA shooting rest bags back into stock, 9 95 and that's for front and rear. You can fill them with sand or cat litter or whatever. Absolutely brilliant little thing. And to be honest with you, I can't see any point in spending any more than nine ninety five on something like that. They're great and back into stock. Uh, next, we've got um, uh, Deben, who, who, who produced the Hawk brand, have actually brought out uh, some of these fantastic new little uh, compacts. Now, there's there's three in the range. There's a, a three to twelve, four to sixteen, a six to twenty four, two five nine. 279 for the 4 to 16 and 289 for the 6 to 24. The nice thing is, as obviously you can see, is uh, they're a lovely compact scope with great lenses. Uh, illuminated reticule, side focus, um, excellent, really, really nice, positive click turrets, um, and uh, they are selling like hotcakes. Also in the box, you get the big side wheel, well, relatively big, I think that looks like a 60mm side wheel, uh, and you get some nice covers, uh, and I think Hawk have done an absolutely fantastic job. They're evident, I've spoke to the Hawk rep yesterday, and he said that they're the big seller at the moment in the Hawk range, everybody's loving them. Uh, we've sold quite a few already, and, and actually the light, even low light performance is surprisingly good. Although, if you are looking at um, using it as a hunting scope, I would probably go for the... They do a 4 to 16 to 44, so that gives you an extra 4mm on the front, which might help you a little bit in low light performance, and obviously use it on the low magnifications, but uh, great little scope and in stock now. Uh, we've also got, um, after a long time of waiting, and I, and I don't think I've... Sorry, I don't think I've covered these on the video before, um, but we've been we've been dealing with a guy called Lucas Parsley. Um, he's been um, he, he, the quality of the stuff's just gone absolutely through the roof. This is his latest uh, latest stock. 
Uh, it's a, a, a multi-laminate, multi-coloured laminate. This is called the TAC-2 and they're available for the 97. I think he's now doing them for the TX200. Well, he is doing them for the TX200, but he's also doing them for the Air Arms series, so that S400, S410. Um, what I really love, well, I, there's a lot of things I love about the Lucas Palser stuff. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the best pistol grips on any, um, any aftermarket stock I've ever come across. It, it just fits like a glove and it's really odd because we've had quite a few people in have picked this up and they've all commented about the pistol grip, they're saying that it's a really nice pistol grip. Uh, you've basically got an adjustable um, adjustable cheek wrist which is not only adjustable for height but it's also adjustable for cant which is which is really lovely um, and you've got the same thing with what's called the hamster, I know it seems like a daft name but that's what that's called, that's the hamster, that is actual tilt adjustable there as you can see and it's also adjustable for, for depth as well. Um, different colours available. Um, they are coming in, uh, I think it's, oh my god, I think it's £419. If I'm completely wrong, I'll put the price uh, down below. But I think that's £419. He also does another one with what's called, in fact, I'm just going to go off camera for one second, I'll bring it back because I was. Uh, didn't think about showing this one, but he also does one with this new mechanism, which is actually called the Super Hamster, um, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And as you can see there, um, that produces a really good stable platform and it's comfortable. You can have your elbow tucked in, uh, you get really, really good support. Um, that is obviously, there's, there's about five different laminates available. So, uh, so that's the Lucas Parsley stocks. Next time I see, um, next time I'm on video actually, um, he's produced a new sporting stock called the Fusion. Um, it's one of the, I think it's the best, one of the best stocks I've ever seen actually. For an air rifle it's absolutely stunning, so hopefully we'll have that to show you uh, next time. So that's the LP stocks, I'll just put those over here. Um, we've got uh, new targets in from Reflex, this is my favourite, this is called Slug of War, which I think is a great name. Uh, it's two player. Uh, one shoots one way, uh, one shoots the other, and it's whoever gets to the end. Twenty four ninety five. Um, you know, if you've got if you've got mates who like to have a bit a bit of fun, um, these are brilliant. We've been selling loads of these, and I think Reflex Targets are doing a really nice job. The 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 actual presentation and the quality is absolutely excellent. So that goes along with lots of other Reflex Targets that we've got in stock. Uh, also, as well behind you, I don't know whether anybody's probably noticed, but um, we've now got the. AGT stuff in stock, we've got the Vulcan 2s, um, Andy um, has had one of these, Andy works in the shop, or, or did work in the shop anyway, he had one of these last year and he said it was one of the most accurate rifles he's ever shot. Uh, we've been selling these for about uh, two months now, we've had no issues with reliability, they're absolutely fantastic to shoot, they're really really accurate. They come with the CZ barrels which are the ones that they used to put on the S200 that have had a fantastic reputation. Um, so we've got the, the Vulcan 2s in stock, we've also got uh, the lovely little Uragan, which uh, is my personal favourite. I think that's an absolute corking little rifle. Um, it's uh, it's just just lovely to handle, and we've stripped these down and had a look at them, and the quality is superb. The silencer works really well. The trigger's excellent. Um, I, so far, I can't fault it. Um, price twelve hundred and ninety five. Price on the Vulcan 2s is 1295 as well. So yeah, it's an expensive gun, but again, if you compare them what is available on the market, you know, you're looking at something like the FX Wildcat in competition, and I think the I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we've got those, uh, not many, but we've got a few of those in stock. We've also got um, looking up, we've got the new Saxon uh, laminate pulsars in stock. Um, we've also got now. I, it's funny actually because Daystead seems to have got, went through a really rough patch last year and uh, there was a lot of problems and you know they really pissed a lot of people off and, and to be honest with you I think they deserved getting a little bit of stick for it but you know what they seem to be really coming back strong because um, we got the Red Wolves in uh, starting off with the, um, the, 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 the limited edition one um, and now we've got what's called the Midnight one in which is basically a blue laminate um, and I tell you what, they've gone down really, really well. Uh, we did, I think we'll see the three or four of these last week alone. 
Uh, we've had customers come back and said that they took them down to the local club, which is Mad Air, uh, and they said accuracy is, is phenomenal. Even even stuff at 70 metres is within reach, and that's 12 foot pounds. So uh, we're really pleased with the way that Daystate seems to have come back. The quality control seems to have got a lot better. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Um, it, it doesn't seem to match, which is such a shame, to be honest with you, because that really looks weird. Um, it, somebody said it actually looks like a BMX bicycle foot peg uh, and I get what the the saying so what we're doing is um, we're throwing if anybody buys one of these and they don't like that they can keep it and we'll throw them one of the new custom carbon lightweight um, silencers called the Wraith that uh, Steve makes um, which are absolutely fantastic really small lightweight lovely little thing so we've got the day states in stock now um, and that's it. I think they're doing a really good job. So well done, Dave. There, finally, you seem to you seem to be back on track, which is which is great. And I mean, at the end of the day, this this gun is two thousand one hundred and forty nine pounds. So I wouldn't expect anything less uh, than something that's absolutely spot on. Uh, anyway, but that's the Red Wolf Midnight. Uh, and last but no means least, um, well, maybe it is the least. I don't know. It's, this is going to be this is going to be an interesting one. Actually, this is going to be a real marmite gun because. Um, I've read the write-ups in the magazines, and I was really excited about getting these. I'm not really that. I'm not really convinced, but everybody's got their own opinion, and I might be wrong, and everybody else might be right. I, I really don't know. But we've got the new Walther Rain in, um, and if we just take it out of the box, uh, basically the the, the Rain is 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 the the bulk up version of the well, almost the R and eight. Um, it's got a new magazine design, and there are some features that I really like about it, and there's some features I really can't stand at all, but you know, like I say, it's nice that everybody's different. So that's the Walther Rain. Uh, we've basically got, yet again, we've got uh, side lever uh, action, which as you can see, is in, the, is in an excellent place to operate it, okay? So, um, as you can, obviously bullpup design, I, I, I hope they didn't need to tell you that, but there you go, bullpup design. Magazine is great because what I like about the magazine is um, you can actually fit it in from either side. So basically you can just swap it around, which I think is a, a, a cool feature. Um, so that's that. Uh, you've obviously got the gauge there. Uh, you've got a sleeved barrel that doesn't really seem to do anything, to be honest with you, so I, I do recommend a silencer, half inch U and F. Um, so if you like something light, and it is lightweight, that's 2.5 kilograms. Um, it, uh, it, it's obviously impossible to tell on video, but that, that really does feel very, very light indeed. Um, the only thing that you probably, and, and this is the thing that, I, I mean, like, so, so there is some nice features about it, but I really don't like the actual finish of it, and it really doesn't feel like it's 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 worth seven hundred and seventy nine pounds. It, it seems a hell of a lot of money, um, and in fact, actually, we've been sort of, and I didn't know whether I was right or not. So I've actually been giving it to a couple of customers today, and and some of them were fairly polite and going, well, mm, yeah, you know, if you want a lightweight gun, I'm like, would you pay seven hundred and seventy nine quid for it? And they're like, oh no, um, I, it it feels a little bit toyish. Now, I know that when you get something very, very lightweight and easy to handle, you know, you can have that problem, especially when it's made out of this really, really hard plastic. It would have been nice if it was soft touch. Um, but whether you agree with me or not, I just sort of think that's, that's really an expensive gun for what it is. Um, also as well, um, I don't like to obviously just go on about something and not test fire it. So before I came on the video, I test fired it. Um, the trigger's not good at all. Um, it's um, it feels like a fake. It, well, it's almost like a, a one stage, a single stage trigger. I, it's supposed to be two stage, but there's just basically creep and then it fires off. Um, but the, there's some weird resonance going on with these guns. Um, when you fire it, you can sort of almost feel the whole pulse of air going all the way through the action. Um, it's not a pleasant experience to be totally honest with you shooting it. I'm really quite disappointed. Now, maybe maybe we've got a bad batch. I, I don't know, but I think this could be the problem with all this this enclosed plastic. 
Um, we also notice there's a little bit of rocket effect, which is, is when you fire the gun, the, the, the blast of air is actually trying to lift the muzzle up. Now, whether that will affect performance or not, I don't know, but I'm not really that keen on pre-charged guns with that rocket effect. I, it, it feels like it's recoiling. Um, and I know it's not true recoil, but it, it doesn't, it's not nice. I, I don't know, I don't, sorry, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, what would be interesting if people actually come into the shop, local customers, I'd like you to come in and actually pick that up and tell me what you think about it. Because we're undecided, you see. I think it, it, it's, a, it's, it's good enough to do its job, but I don't think it's good enough for the money. Um, so we are actually going to keep hold of them. I'm going to hopefully talk to Walther about this, this weird resonance problem when you fire it. And also as well, we're gonna, we need to look at the triggers because the, the trigger's not great out of the box. In fact, actually, I, I would say, and, and I know this sounds really odd, but the Krell MPO2 that we voted 2000, was it 18? Uh, air gun, new air gun of the year. Um, that was a 299 quid gun that had a better trigger than this. And people have actually said that they love the Krell MPO2, but the trigger's not brilliant, although it can be adjusted and it does get better. So, £779. We've got a couple in stock. I, I really don't know whether we're going to carry on stocking them. And, uh, I, I, yeah, you make your own mind up, but we, we've, we've got them. Uh, okay, well, anyway, that's, that's about it for now. Um, just wanted to let you know that obviously we've been a little bit short staffed recently. Andy's had to leave um, for a family issue, which has left us a little bit short at the moment. We're working really hard. We're not doing mail order at the moment, I'm afraid to say, um, because we want to look after our customers in the shop. They're the most important people. They're right in front of us. We want to take care of them. Um, so we will come back with some mail order. It's probably going to be about four to six weeks off before we get that organised. We're going to have a new website. Um, and obviously our hours have changed as well, people might not know this, so we actually now close Monday and Tuesday and open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, simply because um, I felt that my staff needed more time off um, and um, you know, it, it, it's healthier basically. And the nice thing is, is because they've had a rest, they come back, they feel refreshed and you know, they're ready to go again for the next week and I think, it's, um, I think it was the right decision to make. Apologies to customers who can't, you know, can't get into us apart from Monday and Tuesday. I'm really sorry about that, but I, unfortunately, my staff come first, um, and uh, you know, we'll, we're doing a better job of serving people in the shop because we're not spending the time on mail order. Um, I think that's about it for now, guys. Um, the really, the really cool thing is next time I do this video, we're going to have uh, the new Lucas Passes sports stock, but also as well that a lot of people have been asking for, which is, well, in fact, there's two new products coming out that's going to be really nice. We're going to have the new Lee Enfield air rifle, which we've been promised um, by the company who imports from the shooting party by roughly um, the first of next month, which is the first of, first week of August. Um, I think the £399, they, they look absolutely fantastic, but we'll do a bit of review on those as well and show you what, uh, you know, see what you think. Uh, we've also got the Gen 4 uh, Glocks, again, a lot of people have been hanging on for because they've been drip feeding the Glocks out, you know, from, from very cheap £99 right up to this, this new one that's come out that's all field strippable, blowback, etc, etc. So we'll have that in the next video anyway, so um, hopefully, um, hopefully I'll see you soon. Anyway, uh, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate people's patience recently. I know it's been difficult getting through to us on the phone. We have taken on one new member of staff called Charles who's been trained up, so the phone's being answered a lot more efficiently now. So like I say, apologies if you've not got through to us easily. Um, we know what's, you know, we know that like you've been a little bit frustrated. We're, we're, we're working hard to, uh, to get this problem rectified and I think we're pretty much close to, uh, to getting everything sorted and back to running how we want to run. So like I said, thank you very much and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next couple of weeks. Bye now.